Hello everyone, is anyone there? Hello? Hello, 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 Nikki TV here. Anybody home? Oh yeah, I see two eyes, you're welcome. This is Nikki TV and this is Nikki. We're going to have a wonderful day today, like always. Oh, hello, darling Chigo. Thank you for tuning in. Share the video as you come in, all right? Trust me, just share the video while we wait for others to come in. <coughs> yeah. This is Nikki TV. Thank you for coming in. You want to sing his love song forever? I shall do. Thank you, Maya Mundi. Uh, Maya, for coming in. Share the video as you come in. You know, love is what keeps us going. Love, everlasting love from our Lord. Yeah? Without his love, there is no life. Without love, there is no life. Okay, so share the video as you come in while we wait for others as we listen to this wonderful music. Yeah, Maya, thank you for tuning in. Please share the video as you come in. Let others know that we are on. My name is Nikki, and this is Nikki TV. Bless with me. Oh yes, Lord, I will sing of your love forever. I will sing of your love forever. Hope you are sending his love wherever you are right now. I will sing of your love forever. I will sing of your love forever. Let's share the video as we wait for others to come in. We'll be starting in a few minutes. few seconds, actually. I don't want to waste too much of your time today. But hope your life is kicking. Hope everything is all right. Hope you are loving yourself. Hope you are loving God. Hope you are loving people. Because with our loving people... You can say you love God, right? So, welcome everyone. My name is Nkiru Ojimado. Most of the people know me as Nikki. I am an author. I am a speaker. I am a coach. I am a TV host. I am anything you want me to be as long as it makes you to love yourself, it makes you to love people, and it makes you to love God. Okay? So, share the video as you come in. Going straight, you know, last time we didn't finish the topic. I had more than 20 points I wanted to say. I don't remember how much we did, but we'll continue from where we stopped. And the topic was, and is still, why is life so hard? Why am I making no or little progress? This is the part two. Why am I making no or little progress in life? There are reasons to that, okay? And that is what we will be looking into today. We discussed a lot of uh, points, why that happens. And today we are going to continue. Where do we continue from? Oh, thank you, Rachel White, for tuning in. Wow, thank you, Christopher Apkis, for tuning in. God bless you. Thank you everyone for tuning in. As you tune in, please share this video so that others will know that we are on. I hope you all can hear me loud and clear, right? Okay. Continue from the last uh, point that we mentioned. Why you are making no or little progress. Why are we making no or little progress? Because we spend years and days 
and months <laughs> thinking of an idea that has come already into our head we are making a lot of researches on this thing without taking any action I am very sure that most of us watching now do this thing I do it too sometimes you have an idea You've been praying, God, give me an idea, give me an idea. An idea has come into your head, but you take time, you know, trying to process and over-process and over-process this thing, wasting time, months, and everything. Before you know it, somebody else has gone and executed on your idea. You are like, oh, God gave me this idea. I thought of it, but I didn't do it. So, whenever you have an idea, there are three questions that you have to ask for yourself to know whether to do it or not. First, does it anyhow violate my values, what I believe in? No. Does it anyhow violate the people around me? Does it anyhow um, abuse people's lives that are around me? No. Does it anyhow abuse God's law. No. If there are no to these three questions, then there is no way, there is no need waiting, praying for when and when and God give me a sign. He has already given you the sign. He has already given you the idea. So when you ask yourself these three questions and you know that everything is fine with those three questions, good for me, good for people, good for God, then you're ready to go, all right? Don't waste too much time dwelling on a, an idea that's already come to your head because while you're thinking, somebody else is thinking. And the quickest we take it, the person that makes the fastest move, we have it, all right? So I welcome Stella, Queen Stella. I welcome Queen Emma. Thank you so much for joining me. As you come in, please share this video so that others will know that we are on. All right, what else do we do that make us uh, stagnant, that make us stay at a, bit of, at, a, at a place for a long time? The next point is when we waste too much time on things that we don't you know, care about. Let me repeat. Sometimes we waste too much time on something that we don't really, really care about. Though somehow inside there you convince yourself that, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this. But if you really analyze and put the pros and the cons together, you know that you don't really need this. For example, most of us, do you know what is called Facebook, Instagram, all the social media, right? Sometimes you go in there to put up a post. And you find yourself scrolling down this, the timeline. Liking every video that you see. Commenting on every video that you see. I'm also guilty in this, okay? So we have to change this. If you want to move faster in life, if you want to have more progress in life, then we have to cut it. We have to find the time to do the things that don't really make any sense that we want to do in our life or things that don't add any too much value to our lives like scrolling down your timeline on Facebook okay so let's cut it let's stop it I'm telling you thank you everyone for tuning in we are going on I don't want to waste too much time today so the next point is we know how to judge other people mercilessly <laughs> Forgetting that we also have our own problems, okay? Unless you are in somebody's shoes, then you are qualified to judge. But we can never be in anybody's shoes. That means we are never qualified to judge. We have only one judge and he is up there looking at all of us. So stop judging people. If you can't understand, move away. Good morning. Stop, uh, stop judging people, okay? My daughter came saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. So, a good afternoon, good night, whatever your time is. Stop judging people. Stop judging people. I can't shout it enough. Stop judging people until you find yourself in those shoes. Then you have the right to judge. 
But the matter, the, the fact of the matter is that you will never be in somebody else's shoes. Or sometimes when you fall in there, then you will understand what the person is going through. Then you will start to blame yourself for judging that person. So never judge people. Never, never. No, no, no. Don't go there. What is the next point, my people? When you contribute nothing. I mean, contributing nothing to the people around you. Contributing nothing to your society. All you want to think about is me, myself and I. Me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. No, that's not the way to live. If you live like that, you will be forever stagnant. You have to pursue something. You have to have a vision that is far greater than you are. You have to have something that pulls you, that makes you just to give. Because in giving, you receive. I mean, giving yourself, giving the knowledge you have, let out something out there for the environment, for your society, for the people that are in your world to benefit from. Are you listening to me? Don't just live for yourself. Don't just think all that, like I said the other time, thinking that the whole world is revolving around you, that you are the queen and the king of the whole universe. No, you are not, baby. You are not. So, do something that is far greater than you. Get yourself attached to a movement, to a vision that is far greater than you. Then you will have a force that will be pulling you to live, to live happier. Actually, this is one of the one of the prescriptions to cure someone from depression. If you find yourself almost all the time depressed, though this is not the topic of the day. Get yourself attached to something greater than you. That force will be pushing you to do things that, you know, will keep you happy, that will give life to people around you. And believe me, giving gives a lot of joy. All right? Someone wrote something. Facebook can take much of your time. That is true. Okay, let's keep going, people. I've said this earlier, but I will repeat it. Overthink and overanalyze everything. When you overthink and overanalyze everything, it is terrible. Oh, thank you, Party Bar 4, for joining. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. If you haven't shared this video, I will catch you now. Go and share it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rachel Iwinovia, for joining. Thank you, sister. Share the video as you come in. So, when we overthink something, when God has given you an idea and you are thinking and thinking, or for example, thinking, why did this happen to me? Dwelling in this pity, creating a pity party with you, yourself, and I, killing yourself, you know, making all the anger hormones in you to wake up, making you, ladies, making you to get all the age marks around your eyes because of your thinking and your stress. You don't need that. You don't need that. Let it take away. Let it go. Just leave it. Let it go. It doesn't belong to you. Okay? Stop overthinking things. Should we think? Yes. But we should think on purpose. Like Dr. Sandra Adelaja teaches us every Saturday on thinking. He has a series on this. You know? You know how to think well. How to think positively. How to think on your own life. How to, how to do analytical thinking. This is the kind of thinking that we should do. And not just thinking in the sense worrying. Because most of us, the thinking that we know is just to worry and worry and worry until all our hair becomes white. You don't need that. All right? What's writing there? Who is writing there? Christopher Abak. He says, not what your nation can do for you, but what you can do for your nation. Exactly. You are on point there. Think of what you can do. You know, talking about nation, nation can sound so big to you. But think about what you can do just to your immediate society. Start from there. Let's start taking it little by little. Before you know it, you will be all over the nation. All right? Okay. The next point is, you know, most of the time when you ask somebody, how are you doing? The person says, I'm fine. But you know... <laughs> more than you know yourself that he is not fine. I mean those that, you know, 
really should look up to you that should really tell you what is going on so that you can somehow help them they will tell you it is fine how will you know how to help this person so our worst enemy one of our worst enemy that helps us to be stagnant or not to make any progress is to pretend that everything is okay oh thank you so much sam for joining katakia the next president of ghana has just joined okay watch out for that guy <laughs> so when you pretend that everything is okay <laughs> i'm not saying that you should go about crying on everybody's shoulder help me help me no but there are some particular people or even to be truthful to yourself and tell yourself that it is not right i am not fine i have to do something i have to find a solution i have to find who can help me i have to cry god help me or something you have to acknowledge to yourself that things are not fine and you have to change you have to make up steps plans strategies to change the situation don't just say i'm fine how are you perfect yeah perfect you can say that because they say when you call things they become but you have to plan the way you have to get out of that situation don't just say it is fine to yourself most importantly when you know that it is not because it's a lie you will draw yourself into depression because at a point your cup your emotional cup will be full you will even know where to go so acknowledge that things are not fine and find a way to change it okay hope you're getting me we are moving on next step is it somehow looks like the former one denying your needs when you know that you need something you deny it you'll be like you know it doesn't matter you know it's all right i will get over it you know and sometimes it's pride that makes us to do that you know it is written that ask and you shall receive what do you really think that asking is for example let me take some practical example maybe you went to a shop to buy something yeah and the price is like ten dollars or you i don't know somebody is selling something is ten dollars if you like tell the person give me some discount it's it's asking you say like I have only eight eight dollars okay can you sell it for eight dollars i have done this most of the time and to my surprise the person agrees and i get two dollars so this is why sometimes you have to you know not deny your need do, they, do those two things somehow they look alive but that, that's not exactly what it means denying your need yeah your need to have money your need to your need that you need some particular things but you are not saying it okay you are not even acknowledging to yourself that you need that particular thing for example you might need help but you never say that you need help to yourself by taking your beautiful body to the bed and take some snack you just be walking all over the place until you fall down to collapse that is not life okay acknowledge when you need something and make sure that you do the right thing at that particular time Thank you so much, Alexei Dare, for joining. Sra zuposli atava budi to ruski yizik. Budi toje sama na ruska yizike. Pa etaba Alexei yava sprigla shai prisinisa knam. I'm talking to my friend that came in. You know that there will be the Russian version immediately after this. Okay. Next stop is when we trust nobody. <laughs> You know, most of us, because of the things that we went through in life, because of the amount of disappointments that we have in life, yeah, we have decided that I'm not going to trust anybody. <laughs> you suspect everybody, anybody that comes your way, even those that God brings your way to help you. This happens most of the time to ladies when they have gone through some terrible uh, relationships, or maybe divorce or maybe you know they we are they we are jilted or something they now believe that there is no good man there is no good man out there every man there is a wolf or something you know hello thank you so much benga for joining thank you so much and please share this video so that people will know we are on so when we live in that kind of situation when we when we don't trust anybody when we think that 
everybody is a suspect. When you think that everybody around us has come to hurt us, we cannot move forward. Because no matter how we deny it, you and I know that we cannot make any progress without connecting with people. We have to create relationship. My husband was teaching the other day on interpersonal, intrapersonal, extrapersonal relationship. We need all those things for us to make progress in life. You can't take because somebody disappointed you or your boyfriend jilted, your boyfriend jilted you or that business didn't work, then you decide to just be an island, you know. But you know the saying, no man is an island, no man is an island. So you cannot survive like that. No matter what you have been through, no matter what has happened in your life, learn to trust again. On the other hand, it is said that, woe is he that trusts in man. Woe is he that trusts in man, but you still trust again. But having in mind that that person is a man, he can still disappoint you. But always keep your head up. Keep on trusting because you still need people to make progress in life. Can you hear me? Thank you, Vera, for joining. Thank you, Benny Gates, for joining. I see you. So please share that video as you join in, okay? Put thumbs up. And as you are watching, please keep on jotting some things that you are getting from here. Even if it's just one point that we do, all right? All right? So let's go further. One of the reasons why we have no progress or we make no progress or little progress is because we focus on our imperfections. Did you hear me? We will never be perfect. Your neighbor will never be perfect. Your husband will never be perfect. Okay, your children will never be perfect. So, get over it. The earlier you get over it, the better for you. Alright? I have my daughter jumping all over the place here. <laughs> it's part of the show. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but anyway, that, that makes things lively. I think something is moving behind me. <laughs> Jokes apart, don't focus on your imperfections. If you focus on, you, on your imperfections or when things will be perfect before you take a move, <laughs> I'm sorry for you. For example, if I wait for when everything will be perfect before I start this my Nikki TV, I will never start, okay? Because if you, you come to think about it, this is not how TV looks like. As I said earlier, TV is supposed to be 24-7. We are getting there. Okay? Start from where you are. Love yourself the way you are. Love all your perfect imperfections. There's a song that sings like that. Just love yourself the way you are, but do everything to move forward. That's how life goes. Please share this video so that people will join us, okay? Moving forward, next up is when we expect everybody to do us exactly the way we do them. <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry because it will never happen. Don't expect everyone around you to love you the way you love them. Don't expect everybody around you to treat you the way that you treat them. Because it doesn't happen. Because it doesn't happen. The earlier we get this, the better. The earlier we get this, the, 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 you know, the easier we will move forward. The easier we will just focus on the things that we are doing and keep moving forward. Nobody will ever do things you, the way you want them to do it. Nobody will ever love you the way that you want them to love you, exactly the way you want them to love you. It doesn't happen, okay? There will be some imperfections here and there, okay? There will be some ways that you don't want it to be. That's what makes us woman being, okay? We are being. We haven't arrived. We are all human being. Nobody is human that has arrived, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Dr. Joseph for joining here. Thank you, Sir Adediran Lukman, for joining. Please share this video as you join. I'm so excited today that you all are joining. Okay, thank you so much for being with me today. So, when you expect everyone to do you the way you do them, you're in trouble because you'll fall into depression. 
it doesn't happen and it will never happen the earlier you get used to it the easier life will be for you and the way you will get faster and the way you will get to the progress that you are yearning for don't expect people to do things to you the way you do them because everyone is different and everybody has his own thing going on in his head all right okay next up this is a serious one and it's very long okay when we eat nonsense i mean eat crap and expect it to lose weight <laughs> oh my god when we sit on the coach like coach how did they call it coach potato <laughs> with a bowl of chips and i don't know what eating every day mcdonald's is in at lunch mcdonald's at cheeseburger at uh, dinner and whatever milkshake in the morning <laughs> Sorry, it does not happen. You will not lose weight. You will not even move forward. You will not progress in that goal that you have put for yourself. Another thing is when we undersleep, you know, our body needs some kind of, you know, some certain amount of sleep in a day. Everyone defines his own, okay? Somebody sleeps four hours in a day and he's fine. Another person sleeps 10 hours in a day and he's fine. But they say that seven hours is the seven, eight hours for ladies and C7 for guys. So make sure you catch enough sleep. Because if you don't, you might not be able to think well, depending on how you have developed yourself. I know some ladies that sleep only four hours and they are still alive and doing their thing. So choose your own, but make sure you get sleep, okay? If God created sleep, that means we, we all need it. All right, another thing is when you have no routine, when you just live your, ha your life anyhow, you don't create anything, you have no time for anything, you know, you just go by the wind. However it comes, there we go. Somebody calls, Nikki, let's go to the park and do this. You run. You have nothing you are doing. You have no set time for things. You didn't map out the way you're going to do your day, okay? I'm not saying creating timetable or something. But there are particular things that you are supposed to do in a day. Have you mapped them out? Or you just wake up and say, okay, what are we doing today? You ask the son to tell you or something. It does not work that way. That way you will not make progress, okay? You have to map out time, put a certain goal, and when you want to achieve it, then it will happen by your own hard work. Oh, thank you so much, Lady V Global, for joining me today. Thank you so much, Ma. And make sure you share this video so that others will know that we are on. We are going further. Another thing that really makes you to be stagnant, that makes you to have little or no progress, is when you hang out with people that drain you. You know, because of our tradition and whatever, most of the time we just stay around some people that has nothing to do with our DNA, DNA, even when they came from the same line sometimes. But these people, when they stay around you, it's only negativity. When they stay around you, it's only nagging. The husband didn't do this. The government didn't do the other one. The, the other thing didn't do. <laughs> stay away from such people. Or when you voluntarily put yourself in an environment that just squeeze every energy that you have in you. How are you going to make progress if you stay in such environment? You have the power to create your own environment. Even when it's inevitable that you have to stay there. Train your mind to create the world that you want. Stuff things into your head, into your ears to make you just bubble inside. To live your life inside, knowing where you're going, knowing that it's just a matter of time. I will save up that money and go and get myself a different place or something like that, okay? So, make sure you don't have people that drain all the energy you're supposed to make progress with around you. You are the one that choose, alright? Make sure you choose right. Make sure you choose well. Okay, yourself, uh, Sir Joseph says, good morning. <laughs> All these names to come inside, just so funny. Excuse me. <laughs> Bless you, sir. 
So the next stop is, which might be the final one, is using people to transcend you or transcend wants and needs. Using people to get what you want and what you need. I have said that without relationship, there is no progress. Yeah, you need people. But this thing works when you give. When you give, you get back. But when you have people around you because you expect to just receive from them, <laughs> then as my as our DA said, Dr. Sandra Delaja says, you become a dumping ground. And what does the dumping ground do? A dumping ground stinks. A dumping ground is full of all kinds of ugly things, you know? A dumping ground is full of all kinds of flying smelling creatures okay you don't want to be at that situation it is better for you to give it is better for you to let out it is better for you to give out all those things that god has given you do you know how to sing open a youtube channel and start singing do you know how to then dance open up a youtube channel and start dancing for the world to see do you know how to speak and talk like me <laughs> Open up your own TV station. Thank God for Facebook Live. Thank God for social media. You start doing something. Hello, D, my D, D, how are you? Thank you so much, Denise, for joining. Share this video as you come in. So, what are you doing with your life? Yeah? What are you doing? Are you just the one that is waiting for everyone to give to you? I am not going there. I'm not making the progress because I'm not making any progress because my pastor doesn't preach well. What are you doing there in that church if you know that your pastor is not preaching well? Huh? I'm not making any progress because, because my, my, my husband left me. Yeah, your husband has left you. I am sorry for this, but yes, you need some time to heal, but you have to pick up yourself, darling, and leave because your husband is not your life. God gave you, you, he gave you life and he's going to ask of you. That day he will not tell you because your husband left you. That's why he has to sign you in. No, you have your own life to live. And we say, oh, I'm not making any progress because I'm not married. I did it, I'm married now. You know, they say, you know, uh, one we chase a thousand and two, ten thousand. At least chase the thousand that you are supposed to chase. Don't make any excuses for what you are not doing. Or say that, okay, things are not going well because I don't have children. You know all the kind of excuses we have. Or that I don't have money. Start from where you are, okay? Start from where you are. The internet has given us all of us platforms. We have no excuse to just let give what we have. Speak what you have. Write a book. I don't know what you want to do. Sing, make hair, do makeup, paint nails, what else? Make clothes, do anything. You have everything in you, okay? I think I'm talking too much, so I'm going to stop here today. <laughs> in this part two of why we are making no or little progress. And I want you now to just write me a line of one thing that you have gotten today. Bless my heart, please. I'm sure I have blessed you today. <laughs> At least with my smile. <laughs> please write something. And tell me what you have gotten from what I said today. It really bless my heart. And share this video if you haven't, okay? So that others will know that we are on. Others may watch it later. Okay, thank you so much for... Ah, Patty say, please don't stop. <laughs> I can dance for you. <laughs> you know, I have to stop because I have to do the Russian version, okay? My Russian friends are waiting for me too. I decided to be sharing some bits with them too. And I really, 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 really thank you for tuning in today, for joining me. And anyone that is listening, there is a video that I shared where we can vote for Dr. Sandra Delaja to be uh, voted in for some, uh, to do his top, uh, top, not top, his 10 rules of success. If you haven't voted for my comments there, please go and do that because... He deserves to be heard. You know, he has impacted all of us and we are all shining too. You know what I mean? So, 
I really love this. You encourage me so much today. Oh, thank you so much, darling. I'm so glad that I am of encouragement to you. So keep on sharing the news, okay? I love what you do too. Okay, D says to be a self-sufficient woman. Exactly. I'm going to talk about that one day. With that self-sufficiency, nobody can please him. Nobody, you know, you will feel everybody wants you. You know, everybody is trying to get something from you. But when you're self-sufficient, you know where you're going, baby. You know what I mean? Okay, Christopher says we should love people but put our trust in God. Exactly. Riyami, hello, how are you doing, Queen? Thank you for joining. Share this video so that you can watch it later because we are almost rounding up, darling. You came in late, so share this video. So, ah, uh, my darling wrote, he said, wow, 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 that's my sweetie. Yes, that's me. The one and only. <laughs> okay, everyone. So, what, where are we? The thing is, go out there. You are a queen. You are a king. And your kingdom is waiting for you to manifest with all your glory, with all the talent and gifts in you. The whole world is waiting for your manifestation. Manifestation. So go out there and rule. Okay, let me read this last comment. It says, I learned that I shouldn't wait for perfect conditions to do what I need to do. Mm, that is very, very excellent. I never wait. I just put things out there. When I wrote my first book, I thought, okay, let me just write. But within one year, I'm already down with five books. Can you beat that? Because I just let it out and it started flowing. First book, second book, third book, fourth book, fifth book, sixth one even, now, maybe the seventh one. But I haven't published some. So just get out. Don't wait for perfection because they said the, the, the worst enemy to progress is perfection. Okay? So go out there conquer your word. Love you. Share this video and bye-bye.